Hello there and welcome to a new moaning show filmed in magnificent Monovision. You're watching episode 66 all about topical time of course Halloween. Now I will go on record and say straight away that I'm not a tremendous fan of Halloween. It's getting more what they call Americanized every single year. Now, it's all to do with having fun at this time of the year, and certain uh, individuals will celebrate this year, uh, this time of year, more than they would celebrate either Christmas or a birthday, because it's uh, not necessarily a religion that they follow, or they they consider themselves to be of a darker. Um, personality so to speak and fair play you're entitled to believe whatever you wish um you know just as long as you don't try and push it on me now i'm not going to say that i don't like that aspect of halloween because that's not really much to do with me Question one this week is obviously what I don't like. What don't you like about Halloween? Now, what I don't like about it is the simple fact you get complete and total strangers potentially ringing on your uh, doorbell or whatever. Now, if you're kind of closed off or, you know, you, you're elderly, for example, you're over the age of, say, 70 and you don't want weirdos or strangers knocking on your door and asking for fucking sweets. You know, and that's another thing I'll mention later on. You can be intimidated by the individuals that can knock on your door. Now, I'm not saying you're intimidated by little five to six year olds, you know, dressed up as witches and ghosts and goblins and all that sort of shit. What I'm talking about is the, say, 12 to fucking 16 year olds that ring your doorbell and all they've got is a fucking one pound mask they bought from the local store or supermarket trick or treat and and you're knocking on the door you open it up trick or treat and it's not they haven't made an effort so fuck off first thing secondly you know you should most halloweens are midweek so it's not like you should be doing your fucking homework and getting ready for fucking going to bed and fucking school the next day, you know, fuck off. But what I'm saying is, is that these kids know how to intimidate, all right? They've got a batch of eggs on them. And that's, you know, one of the worst things that I fucking hate about Halloween is the potential for your house to be damaged somewhat. I say somewhat because... I don't expect bricks through my fucking windows, but the potential is there, okay? The potential is there for property damage. The potential is there to have your house egged. And dare I say it, the potential is there for injury and intimidation. And no one needs that in their fucking lives, apart from maybe actors in a soap opera or or in a television program you know intimidation is good as far as a storyline is concerned you know the same thing could be said for a wrestling storyline things like that but outside of that no fucker in the world needs intimidating so that's one thing i hate about halloween another thing i hate about halloween is the more commercial aspect of it you see Adverts for grizzly ghouls in every tomb are closing in to seal your doom. Yes, that's a line from Thriller by Michael Jackson. Um, and it's just becoming crazier and crazier every fucking year. And you think, fuck off. 20 years ago, this night meant fuck all, you know? Now, a little bit of this is to do with jealousy. I am 35 years old. This is my so-called 35th Halloween. 
I, to the best of my knowledge, until I was about three or four and I couldn't remember what the fuck I was doing, I have never been trick-or-treating in my life. Think about that for a second. I have never been trick-or-treating. Until I have a kid, I won't. There's no point. So, it's like, ugh, what's the fucking point in that? And that's what I do feel about it. It's an excuse for people to get dressed up. It's an excuse for people to get drunk and potentially damage property. Now, not necessarily the house you live in or the um, local artefacts like lampposts, fences, you know. You could do anything. And another dangerous thing about Halloween is that people can hide anything inside their fucking costumes. You could have a knife in there. You could have this in there. You could have that in there. And you don't know what the fuck is going to happen. It's dangerous. Now, what some people do is host Halloween parties and invite their friends round. Absolutely fine. Not a problem. Again, a problem could be if you've got work in the morning, if you've got school in the morning, you know, and it's like, well, what's the point in having a party on Halloween? Do it at the weekend or do it at a time when the vast majority of people are not going to school or work the next day. Not much point. My second question this week is all to do with having... The most sort of fun you can have in this sort of atmosphere. Now, another thing as well that I'd like to kind of bring up is the fact that this is of a time frame, end of October, where you've put the clocks back a few days before, okay, and you're saving for Christmas, or you're going to try to save for Christmas, put it that way, and you've also got Guy Fawkes Night, which is next week's moaning show. OK, so I'm trying to do these topical is what I'm trying to say to you now. So already you're not great money wise. OK, if you get paid on Halloween and you're spending some money on Halloween and then the following week, it's not seven days later. It's five days later is your next social event. All right. It's five days later. So if you're celebrating Halloween and Guy Fawkes Night in that week, in that seven day period, in other words, maybe a Saturday to Saturday, you're already fucked as far as November is concerned. You might have spent 20 to 30 quid on your Halloween costume. You might have spent another 30 to 40 quid on fucking fireworks. Now, your money, yeah, your money is yours to do with as you wish. OK. But I implore you to have a think about it first. Yes, you may want to socialise. Yes, you may really want to socialise. But have a think about your bank account first before you even, you know, bring up. Let's go out trick or treating with the kids. Let's go out and get pissed. Let's go out and have a really good time. Your prerogative, you're free to do what you want. Not a problem at all. What I will say is that unless you've got a relatively well paid job, you're not going to survive November. And with with the Christmas coming at the end of December as well, you can either sacrifice some of your Christmas to have a fairly decent time now in the next uh, seven days or so, seven to ten days. But you're not going to have a, you know, the thing about fireworks, yeah, they look good. They sound good, specifically if you put them to music or if you go to a display, you know, an organised display. But fireworks don't last. You know, I'd much rather pay for something that I can keep. Posters belts, computer, videos, DVDs, games, you know, 
something tangible, something you can use over and over again. As I look up, I've got my PlayStation 2, 3, 4. I've got my N64, my Super Nintendo that I've bought recently in the last few years. Keepable items. How many times a year are you going to use your witch's costume or your ghost costume? Twice maximum. Maybe three times, four times if you've got a varied social life and you go out to other parties and places. It's not very good return for your money, is it? So that's about it for this edition of The Moaning Show. I know it's a bit shorter than previous ones. So I just wanted to get my thoughts about Halloween out there. I'm not a great fan of it and I don't think I will be until I have a kid. That's quite a long way off in my personal opinion. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time for more moaning. See you then.